good morning. Uh, it's Friday. I'm tired. I slept for maybe four hours tops. It's uh, 7.45 in the morning and um, I have two classes from 8.30 to 11 today. And after that, all of next week, I have basically no school. I have a break, which is wonderful. But uh, <laughs> these two classes, they're gonna... Well, I actually considered just staying in bed, but I was like, no, that's not a good idea. And, um, you know, only, only two classes left before a week off, and that's, you know... It just feels it feels good going to those two classes and then, you know, having a week off. And it's stupid not to. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, and why am I making a vlog on a Friday? I usually do it on Saturdays, don't I? Well, I'm crazy and I'm mixing things up. Um, I don't know, I just thought that I'd... Uh, did, I, I'm gonna watch some, some stuff tonight, but this is mainly... It's not exactly a vlog, mainly about movies and stuff. I just thought that I'd do a vlog about today for some reason so we'll see how things go so this is just a bit of a random vlog I'm gonna get some breakfast now butter cheese ham cucumber and bread and of course some curd or cottage cheese, whatever you call it. And then this sandwich. Basically what I always have for breakfast. So let's eat and then let's leave for school. Oh, and I put my laptop there by the way. And then when I get home I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to um, take a nap because I'm going to the gym. I'm planning on being at the gym fairly long, for, for, for a while today uh, because I've been sick uh, the last couple of days gonna go to the gym uh, yesterday and on Wednesday but I uh, wasn't feeling too well at least on Wednesday and then yesterday there was like some residue of the sickness left so I was like well probably a good idea to stay home stay home another day or you know to um, st stay home from from the gym I guess another day and uh, that makes it that makes me sort of want to go harder today uh, but not with four hours sleep that's not gonna work so gonna need to sleep some more later um, but it's fine if I get my sleeping schedule screwed up after this because like I said I have a break after this so <laughs> well anyway I'm in a bit of a hurry so gotta stop talking to the camera slightly chewy think of a fun version of beef jerky and you got something like this this is called mock usually a snack a popcorn snack alrighty only two classes so this is not a tough day or anything, but uh, got math first, one hour, and I'm gonna need the teacher's help. It's just one of those moments where I read the um, instructions and I don't get it. And just like that, I'm on my break. Well, I did sort of just eat, or not just, but um, it's been three hours actually. Um, so I'm gonna get something more to eat, because uh, I need a lot of food if I'm gonna work out for, I'm thinking uh, maybe two and a half hours. Um, maybe this is not interesting. But uh, yeah, I was sick on Wednesday, I was at school, but when I got home I was like not feeling too well. Went, went grocery shopping and uh, started getting a stomach ache while I was there and I was, happy to, I, I was happy to get home when I did. 
Um, then yesterday I actually have the day off. You know, every, every Thursday, which is a really nice and uh, well comfortable schedule. Um, so I didn't miss anything, luckily. But um, like I said before, I did miss the gym, and I was planning on working out. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now I missed two of those days. Uh, so while I did eat a lot less those two days, I also, I mean, I of course missed my workout, so I'm gonna do two things today uh, that I normally spread over two days. I'm gonna do legs first, and then back and biceps. Um, and that's gonna take, I think, two and a half hours, probably. Uh, so it's gonna be a long, tough workout session, and some people would, um, you know, you know, not advise you to be there for that long, but I guess if I eat enough, it's it, it's fine, and if I have the energy, it should be fine. Uh, but that of course means that I need to eat quite a bit before and after. So, yeah, gonna eat um, lunch, I suppose, early lunch. Then I'm gonna take a long nap. Then after that, I might eat something more. You know, do a couple things, do the little dishes that we have, take the garbage out to sort to get some energy back, and then. <laughs> Then I'm gonna head to the gym, so hopefully I'll have enough energy. Anyway, um, I think, yeah, I, I, I actually was the one responsible for cooking yesterday. So naturally the result was a disaster. No, but the pasta tastes exactly like it's supposed to. But the chicken, I just simply fried some chicken with um, um, salt and pepper. Um, you know, to make it as healthy as possible. <laughs> and uh, But I think the problem was that I fried it too long. So it's a, li a little too chewy, it's not that tender. But oh well. Ketchup. And garlic sauce. Just to make it a little bit less healthy. Let's see what we have here. Could grab some cucumbers and tomatoes, I guess. Cherry tomatoes, or baby, baby tomatoes, whatever you want to call it. Cherry tomatoes. Maybe a couple of baby carrots. And then I have this. I guess I could take this before, right before workout, or a little while before. Actually, my mom was kind enough to pick this up for me. 25 grams of protein, 7.9 grams of carbs. But that's for later. Upping the calorie count little by little. <laughs> there we go. Dinner served, or lunch is served. But it needs to be served on something bef because I'm eating in bed. <laughs> so there we go, to prevent any disasters. I'm so talented. And tall. That definitely helps with an endeavor such as that one. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna see actually if there are a couple YouTube videos. Let's turn the lights on again. If there are a couple YouTube videos that I want to watch while I eat. If not, then I'm just gonna watch this show right here. Hell on Wheels. I uh, picked that up in January this year. Uh, at Hemma Kväll, which I will be going to later today, actually. Um, which is a um, candy slash um, movie store. They all, well, the, the previous two years that I'm aware of, they've had 50% uh, off sales during one day in January. 
and uh, so I picked that up in Janu January but I haven't gone around to watching it uh, until now and I'm enjoying it uh, it's not great uh, I do feel like the characters they're not really growing on me as quickly as a lot of other shows um, and it is I suppose the acting is a little bit subpar too if you compare two shows such as um, well for example it does rem remind me a little bit of Boardwalk Empire um, but the acting is acting acting in Boardwalk Empire is a lot better and um, overall Boardwalk Empire is a better show but uh, it's a little bit similar a little bit I feel but uh, yeah no I like it I'm on, on episode 8 now so I only have a couple more to go and uh, yeah it's it's not amazing but it's definitely good enough to keep watching so but let's see if there's anything that I want to watch on YouTube uh, not really but speaking of uh, of Hell on Wheels <clears throat> I actually just added this this morning to my playlist common what's in my bag uh, and he's in the show Hell on Wheels and if you're cur curious this is what's in my playlist right now uh, and a lot of these late older videos all the way up here I've had them here for ages like an old cool dude update that I never watched and a bunch of uh, watch module lists that I never got around to watching and there's some random stuff anyway hell on wheels it is You barely escaped a neck stretching. And you're right on out of here, and, and I figure for certain they got you killed. And good morning once again, although it's not exactly morning. Um, yeah. I uh, did not sleep for three hours, but I uh, slept for uh, hopefully most of it, I think. I was kind of sleeping a little on and off or whatever. Um, but uh, I think I've gotten. All sleep I need, or most of it. Oh look, I got a package or two of them even. Awesome, but that's gonna be in its own video, so or in another video at least. Could you just wait one second? There we go. I, I would have loved to uh, get some uh, editing done instead of sleeping. But uh, no, I of course needed those couple of hours. So do I feel right now like I have the energy to go at it for two and a half hours? Eh, not really. So that's why I need um, something more to eat. It's gonna be fine. Uh, this one, I was talking about this, I'll have this. It's a uh, chocolate by the way. And then I'll have a banana too. Uh, yeah, this is brown ish but it should be fine I guess it doesn't matter that this is low carb if I'm having a banana anyway but whatever I just realized that this is kind of like one of those full day of eating videos that um, these uh, you know bodybuilders and power lifters and whatever do and that, that you know you know people whose channels are dedicated to towards working out which mine isn't uh, but this video has sort of been kind of like that <laughs> so far. I'm just all over the place talking about movies and working out and food. Who knows what's gonna come next? <laughs> so, but uh, actually, let's let's have a sip of this. All right, <laughs> all right. So, cheers. That's good. That tastes like it has a lot more sugar than what it does. That's just like a chocolate milk drink. I might actually need some protein shakes, um, a protein shake at the gym too, in between. Uh, 
legs and back. And speaking of legs, uh, I still have my knee problem, so I can still not do squats or anything like that. I need to just sort of do, well, to a certain degree, um, what I do for legs is kind of like rehabilitation, but maybe it's it's a little a little heavier than that. But I I try not to do it too heavy at weights because. Um, well, I don't want to hurt my knee even 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 more, but um, yeah, I do. I just do machines basically. I can't do any squats, unfortunately. Haven't been able to do that for a long time. I've actually been talking to a guy in school about about that, and he also has that same problem, uh, knee problems. Maybe not exactly in the same area as I have, but um, he agrees that you know it doesn't fucking stop. I mean, the pain just stays basically. It's very hard to get rid of it, or the discomfort. At least it's just really determined not to leave my knee. It's a uh, pain in the ass, well, in the knee, I guess. <sighs> anyway, it is what it is. Well, it's time to leave for the gym, but I'm gonna actually bring some of this uh, protein powder. Let's go with double rich chocolate. Two scoops should be fine, I think. I might not need it, I don't know, but uh, we'll just just to be safe. The movie Fury premieres today in Sweden, and uh, I would have would have loved to go see that one, but um, hopefully I'll get a chance to do that later. Uh, you know, the movie with Brad Pitt uh, about another World War Two movie. I think it takes place towards the end of the World War. And uh, it takes place in a tank for a lot of the time, or for some of the time. It's about this, um, I don't know what you call it, squadron, platoon, whatever. Um, and their way uh, on a certain quest. Uh, you follow them on a certain quest to destroy the enemy. Something like that, I don't know. But um, it sounds good, and it's one of those movies... Um, that I've been waiting for uh, this year for a long time and I've been thinking that it's gonna be good and um, based on what I've heard that sort of confirms my hopes for that about that so that makes me want to watch it even more obviously but yeah hopefully we'll get around to see that one pretty soon so let's see how long this will take painfully summarized version of what I did. I was there, speaking of pain, I was there for two and a half hours actually, approximately. And at first I felt like when I was doing legs, which was the first clip you saw, I was feeling like, man, this is not gonna go well. I do not have that much energy. And I was even starting to feel kind of nauseated. But after a while, uh, that went away. And I, I got some more energy actually. Uh, I am exhausted now though. I didn't have to use the uh, uh, protein shake, so I'll, I'll just take that now. Hello. And there's the post-workout snack. Um, protein shake and, uh, well, mainly carbs here, I suppose. Uh, although I do have ham and cheese, so protein too, but I need quite a bit of, um, of food now considering that I was at the gym for like, like I said, two and a half hours. Probably depleted my glycogen twice, if that's possible. It doesn't feel like it's 12 hours since I started filming. <clears throat> I did sleep for like two, three hours, but um, I, think I, I think I was asleep for maybe two hours. Which means that all in all, I slept for six hours, um, which is I don't feel like that's enough uh, for a two and a half hour workout. Uh, I think that's why I was feeling slightly nauseous, maybe. Um, and also, since I was at home yesterday and I was feeling not too well, or well, I was feeling okay yesterday. It was mainly two days ago that I was feeling sick, but I slept a lot, uh, you know, you know, last night, 
or the night before last, whatever. Uh, so that might have been a reason why I couldn't fall asleep tonight. However, I think that's it with the workout talk. Maybe uh, you guys want to listen to me talking about movies instead. So, uh, well, I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to go to, uh, like I said before, I'm going to Hemmakväll buying some uh, candy for the movie night. I was also going to buy, because um, I kind of have watched all of my comedy shows and all my TV shows that I have, except for Hell on Wheels, but I kind of usually feel like I want something funny to watch at all times, to sort of have a show to put on if I want to, that is funny. And I didn't have one. Uh, but now, you know, I I did make a separate unboxing about for this, but I might as well show you. Uh, Becker arrived. Um, and I was going to Hemmakväll, sure, to buy candy, but also to look for something funny to watch. Um, but now I might not have to do that. I might do it anyway if I find something that I want, but we'll see. Um, speaking of sitcoms, by the way, uh, I have four of them on order. Uh, one of them on pre-order, actually. And I guess I can reveal that that is Simpson Season 17, which I got for a really good price from a Swedish, Swedish website. But uh, like I said, it's on pre-order. It's not going to be re released until uh, beginning of December. I think December 1st is the uh, tentative release date. So uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a while. But uh, they put Sideshow Bob on the cover. But the cover is also, well, not tentative, but it might change a little bit. Uh, we'll see. But so far it looks okay. But yeah, it's actually fairly late, so I'm gonna just jump in the shower and go to the store and then get started with uh, the night. Same road, 12 hours later. In that building right there, that's where I go to school. That store over there, that's where I'm going now <laughs> and over there behind that building is the gym where I just was everything is really close I live right in the center of town which is very convenient anyway let's get some candy and there we go bag of candy and uh, also got my because they have um, an American section there so I got my two favorites. Shut the fuck up. Uh, excuse me. My two favorite American candies, uh, which I haven't had for a while, I believe. White Reese's peanut butter cups and this is not candy, but you know, jalapeno poppers. Um, I'm not in my usual super candy craving mode right now. Um, I did buy. I mean, it, it it feels like I bought less than I did. And well, I, I did buy less than I usually do, but um, still is, you know, quite a lot of candy in there, I suppose, to most, most people. Um, it's 8.30, and uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say, um, I didn't find any, any DVDs or anything like that. Uh, I did look around, but I, 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 I was thinking, like, who am I kidding? I know this place. They have, they just have the new stuff, the uh, mainstream ordinary stuff that you see everywhere and uh, most mostly and uh, it's fairly overpriced too like Boardwalk Empire season 4 on Blu-ray which is one that I want uh, costs 350 there and on CD-ON for example you can get that for 150 which is a big difference I mean you can get two of those and it's still cheaper than Hemmakväll so um, it's not the place to go to buy movies. I did mention the Hemakväll 50% sale that they have in January. I mentioned that um, some hours ago, some minutes ago for you, or well, a while ago. Because <laughs> I suspe suspect this video will be fairly long. But uh, that's really only the times that I, I mean, I only buy movies at that 50% sale. Because it's, it's not really worth it any other time. Uh, you can find everything for cheaper elsewhere, really. Uh, but I will return return there on January, hopefully if they if they do that 50% sale again. But I'm guessing they will. Fingers crossed. Uh, anyway, dinner is ready, and I I did have two sandwiches and a protein shake about an hour ago. So I'm not starving, but um, 
I'm, I, I could eat. I did watch episode 8 before, um, before I took my nap. Uh, so that means I have two more episodes to go of Hell on Wheels Season 1. Um, not sure if I'm gonna continue, I guess the two remaining episodes will tell uh, if you know it ends on a good note or a, on a cliffhanger or something that I'm then I probably will but if it doesn't get any better I might not continue but it is enjoyable for sure but right now I think I'm actually gonna check this movie out <laughs> Christmas card the Christmas card a very cheesy silly movie I talked about it I it's one the, the other one that I unboxed today um, so I don't have any anything else that I'd rather watch right now. I don't know if this is gonna be particularly good, but I think I'm gonna check this out now. Um, or you know what? I'm just gonna watch one episode of Becker first, and then watch that, probably. All right, let's start with Becker. <laughs> Pork tenderloin. Um, Potatoes, well, you can see what they look like. I forget what they are called right now. And lettuce and salad, whatever. For once, I'm starting to feel pretty full, <clears throat> even before I've um, finished everything. Um, and oh yeah, change of plans. I decided to watch Hell on Wheels. I, I have two players, one for Blu-rays, one for, well, one is a Blu-ray player, one is a region-free DVD player. And since both Becker and the Christmas card quality titles are Region 1 DVDs, I sort of switched the HDMI cable from the Blu-ray player to the DVD player, put Becker in, started watching it, and then I was like, you know what, I don't feel like watching this. So I put the HDMI cable back to the Blu-ray player and put Hell on Wheels on. Of course, I could have watched this on the DVD, excuse me, DVD player but there would have been, the aspect ratio wouldn't have been, you know, correct uh, on that player. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just felt like watching more Hell on Wheels. Well, that's episode 9 of Hell on Wheels, so I've got one more left, but if that's not more um, compelling, uh, I might, you know, not really waste more of my time and money on this show. Um, I guess that's the thing about it. The drama is not compelling enough. Um, and also the characters, they're not strong enough. They're not... Take a show such as Breaking Bad. Uh, and you have you have Walter White, you have uh, Jesse Pinkman, uh, Hank and uh, you know Skyler. They are their characters. Those actors, you know, they are their characters. You know, it's, there's no question about it. But I don't feel that way with this show. They could have easily hired some other actor and it would be fine. I don't, even after, after nine episodes, almost an entire season, I don't feel like the characters have grown on me at all. I don't feel like they, well, I don't know. The, um, the show does suffer from that um, acting not being the best either. Um, and it's, I mean, it's not one of these shows, these A shows, whatever, uh, modern shows that you hear about all the time, like, like Breaking Bad or, the Walking Dead, or Amer American Horror Story, or, um... Oh, help me out. Well, one of those shows. <laughs> it's sort of, uh, maybe not so much fallen outside of the radar for people who watch a lot of TV, but it hasn't gotten a whole lot of, um, spotlight, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna watch a movie now. I said that I was gonna watch the Christmas card, but... I don't know. <laughs> You know what, I've had this one for a while, Copland. I feel like this DVD, this old shitty DVD, might not do the movie justice uh, in terms of quality and stuff, but I'm gonna check this one out. I've had it for a while, and um, I feel like it's time to check it out. So, yeah, indeed, a bit of a change of plans from what I said before, but I changed my mind. <laughs> Alright, Copland is over. Uh, picture quality was actually not that bad, um, I guess mainly the DVD looks like shit, so that's what uh, made me think that the quality was going to be bad too. And also look at this menu, or well, this is the uh, scene selection screen, but <laughs> well, it, it looks kind of cheap. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, movie was good. Um, I It's a bit of a hit, hit and miss, I suppose, but ultimately it's a good movie. Uh, it has a terrific cast, I mean, if you just look at the cover here, 
uh, Stallone, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro. Also in the movie, uh, Michael Rappaport is in this. Um, Edie Falco is in one scene, I think. Um, then there are a few more people, a um, few more actors I recognize, but I don't know their names. Um, there's this one guy who was in um, The Faculty, I think. I think he played the the football teacher, I think, or teacher, whatever. And then there's this actor who was in, I think he was in the movie Beautiful Girls, actually together with Michael Rapp Rappaport. Uh, and I also think he was in that episode of The Walking Dead, maybe the finale of season one, or maybe the second to last episode of season one. Anyway, so lots of uh, rec recognizable faces, and m I might be forgetting someone too. Um, oh, Tony Sirico, I think he was in a couple of pictures playing some a mafia boss or some mafia guy. But he was never in the movie. He was only on a couple of pictures, but they talked about him quite a little, quite a bit. I, I always mention when I see Tony Sirico in something because I just love his character in Soprano so much, Polly. But thinking, of, come come to think of it, that's really the only good part he's ever done. I can't think of anything else I've seen him in which where where he's good. But I always love seeing him. Anyway, <laughs> the movie's basically about. Um, takes place in this, I don't know if it's New York or New Jersey or whatever, my US geography, it's not great, um, but um, well, it, it's okay, it's not that bad, but anyway, and there is this district anyway, uh, run, or um, um, where a lot of a lot of people are cops there basically, and uh, there's this event that happens in the beginning of the movie that triggers a big mystery, a big conspiracy, and uh, basically, Sylvester Stallone, who gets to shine in this movie, actually, um, because, well, I'll talk about that after. Um, mainly, Sylvester Stallone tries to solve this m big mystery and conspiracy. And there is a big build up about this, or towards a climax or um, a final, well, without spoiling anything really, uh, a final, unfulfilling slow motion shoot up. Shoot, shootout scene, yeah. And I just felt that with all this build up, all this plot, it did not really deliver in the end. It, it really didn't. Um, so that's where it's a little hit and miss, definitely. And then, like I said, Sy Sylvester Stallone, he gets to shine. Um, he proves that he can act, for one thing. He's, n he's not cast in a typical Stallone part. His character is a uh, he he's a kind of like the main 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 character. I mean, for example, De Niro. He doesn't have a whole lot of screen time, and he's just kind of there because he's De Niro. That's what I felt. And he also narrates the movie, which is kind of out of place a little bit. Doesn't really work. Anyway, um, so Stallone he is kind of this. He's a cop. Every, everybody everybody are cops in this movie basically. <laughs> it's called Copland, but um, he's this really nice, um, humble, kind of naive guy. Um, very, um, very much a pacifist. He doesn't, uh, well, he doesn't act anything like, like I've seen him in other movies, you know. Maybe I've not seen enough Stallone movies, I don't know, but just in every movie I've seen him, he's this tough guy, this badass, and he's not like that here. But yeah, I guess he's the, the good cop or the, the straight cop, and then there are crooked cops, and, um, uh, he, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil too much, um, it is heavy on the plot, um, so it could, you know, you could talk about the plot for a while, what's actually going on. Uh, I just sort of made a, just a, a quick summary, I, I guess. But um, I guess I generally find it more interesting to talk about other aspects of, uh, aspects of the movie than the plot. You know, I can share my own thoughts and not just recite what happens, because you, you can read about that online. But... Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it is a hit and miss movie. It's a good movie. I wouldn't recommend it, you know, over every other movie that I've seen. Whatever. Uh, it, it is good though. Um, it's a enjoyable, for sure. Uh, it's already 11.30 and I've only watched one movie. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna watch something else. I don't know if I'm gonna watch another movie or not. Can't decide. Uh, like I said before, I do have some editing that I need to get done. I have two videos that I need to edit, and then this is gonna take a while to edit. So, but of course, I have all of next week off basically, so I have all the time in the world to do that. Um, otherwise, maybe I would would have done that now, 
but I think maybe I'm gonna watch another movie. Um, well, no, I'm just gonna watch some Becker now. <laughs> now I feel like it. Um, so yeah, season two with Ted Danson. Jesus. Alright, the thumb still sort of applies, but those are hotter than I remember. I can't finish them. My mouth is burning. I mean, I can't handle spicy stuff too well, but I've eaten these before a few times and it's been fine. Now it's like my mouth is on fire. Um, so maybe they're not my favorites anymore. <laughs> um, I think I prefer the other, the other hers. Cheese um, curls. <clears throat> I know I'm acting like a baby, but really, <clears throat> my throat is burning. I don't know if they made them hotter or what, but there's something going on. <laughs> maybe maybe the thumb doesn't apply anymore. Interesting. Well, the Reese's white peanut butter cups. They are amazing still. Well, it's Becker against the world. I guess that's how it is with uh, a lot of sitcoms. You know, the the audience is the only one who uh, um, can relate and sympathize with the protagonist or protagonists or whatever, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll um, end the video here. I suppose this video wasn't so much about movies, but uh, I've done those videos before, and um, some people like them, I think, so... <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, that's it. So, as always, thank you for watching, I always, I, I especially appreciate it when the videos are this long, because I suspect the video will, will be long. Or if you just skipped ahead and uh, just watched the movie night, that's, that's fine also. But, uh, yeah, see you later.